Mom Rang, Drew and Tanya were burning up. Please let this work. The code. The code on these glasses indicates the Allspark is 230 miles from here. I sense the Decepticons are getting ready to mobilize. They must know it's here as well. What about Bumblebee? Our kids is being to die and become some human experiment. He'll die in vain if we don't accomplish our mission. Bumblebee is a brave soldier. This is what he would want. Why are we fighting to save the humans? They're a primitive, violent race. Were we so different? They're a young species. They have much to learn. But I've seen goodness in them. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. You all know there's only one way to end this war. We must destroy the cube. If all else fails, I will unite it with the spark in my chest. That's suicide. The cube is raw power. It could destroy you both. Unnecessary sacrifice to bring peace to this planet. We cannot let the humans pay for our mistakes. It's been an honor serving with you all. Autobots, roll out! Mr. Julius, I just want to tell you, uh, I might be a little late on the rent. You know, the mortuary had a run of bad luck, and tragically, we lost three customers. That means they live. See that, Rochelle? The mojo's spreading all over the building. Mojo? What mojo? You got a mojo on you? Oh, don't tell me you believe in that nonsense, too. I believe it because it's not nonsense. I'm sorry. If you got a mojo on you, I got to move the hell up out of here now. What for? Because you got a mojo on you and I'm in this house, I got a mojo on me. And if people keep surviving around me, y'all gonna run me out of business. So do what you need to do and let me know when it's done. That's what my wife said. See that? Now we're losing the tent. Hey, Mom, where's the school? Ontario High School in Queens, where just a short while ago, the bomb center received a call threatening to blow up the school. So far, the school is still there. emergency triage area with heart palpitations. Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. How do you know? This whole place could blow. Metal chairs flying like shrapnel everywhere. I called in the bomb threat. What? Where would you get such a crazy idea? From you, with a story about your cousin Benny. Oh. I may have exaggerated a bit. What's wrong with you? Why would you make up a story like that? I have a penchant for hyperbole to aggrandize myself. I've been working it out with my shrink. Look, bottom line is the school is not going to blow up. They're going to send us all home for the day and I won't have to recite that stupid speech. Attention everyone. I'm Captain Tyrone Williams of the Bomb Squad. The school has been cleared and the bomb threat is over. Thank you for your cooperation. I've never seen a black man on that side of a megaphone. We would send you all home, but with finals next week, it's best if you go back to your classes. So we'll resume with this period. This period, and Tyrone will resume searching my office and my person. Hey, yo, mama! I'll see you back in class, huh? Maybe if I start you off, you'll remember the speech. All right, it starts like this. Call from retirement, in which I am supposed... I, I don't know the speech, and I could not go back into that class. Well, what are you going to do? Panic! Perfect. 
perfectly natural for you to freak out after a bomb scare. It's called post-traumatic stress syndrome. But being from the ghetto, it never occurred to me that your stress would ever end. Miss Morello, I'm flipping out. I think you should send me home. I tell you what, go back to your class, and if you're still feeling shaky after that, then you can go home. Thanks. That was as helpful as a bookshelf at Paris Hilton's house. All right, class, I have your Christmas themes for you. I'm pleased. In general, you did very well. However, I was disappointed in the margin. Oh, this is it. See, plus, oh, no, it can't be. Mother must have gotten the Miss Shields. There could be no other explanation. You'll shoot your eye up! You'll shoot your eye up! <laughs> Was there no end to this conspiracy of irrational prejudice against Red Rider and his peacemaker? These complicated questions were.